it's wonderful to follow the talk on Candida building. How remarkable it is, uh, achievement from Georgia Tech. My name is Perry Yang, a professor of city regional planning architecture here at Georgia Tech. My talk was about carbon neutrality planning using two use cases. One in Tokyo for smart city project from 2015 to 2024, a 10 year collaboration between Georgia Tech, University of Tokyo and Keio University from Japan. The other one is smart city workshop in Atlanta from 2019, a five years collaboration between three schools in Georgia Tech, city regional planning, architecture, and aerospace engineering. And we have collaboration with stakeholders around Hartsfield Jackson, Atlanta International Airport, the biggest airport in the nation, in the world actually. Both projects are driven by the goal, carbon neutrality by 2050, to design for complex system of system like city. But today, I will not talk about the two of them. I would like to talk about one key concept or one proposition, urban technology or urban tech that emerged from these two projects, 10 years in Japan, five years in Atlanta. At the end, I would like to elaborate why urban tech in Georgia Tech as a vision will be promising to deliver pathway toward carbon neutrality in 2050. Let's begin with a statement that has been repeated again and again for years. Nearly half of 8 billion world population live in city in 2022. Additional 2.5 billion will be added to city by 2050. Among them, two out of three people are likely to live in city or urban center of some kind. And city contribute to two thirds of the global primary energy demand, three quarter of energy related to carbon emission. So therefore, I'd like to make an argument, future city development are critical to global energy solution and carbon reduction. Obviously, our city today, the current form and function of modern city like Atlanta or even Tokyo would need radical changes. For over a century, technology has been shaping form and function of modern city. Exactly 100 years ago, uh, like 1920, when Model T was invented by the four company, American company, that, fun that fundamentally changed the way we design city. City did not look like today at all before then. They looked more, more closely to like European town with mason stone paved narrow street rather than motorway. A modern city plan a layout a century ago, the road system uh, to accommodate new technology invented a century ago, which is the car. And during 1950s, 70, the US here, we built enormous road infrastructure, including interstate highway system that cut off many downtown neighborhood, American city, such as the downtown connector 75, 85 in Atlanta. As a consequence, we have problem of urban sprawl, suburbanization, long commuting that consume so much gasoline, produce carbon emission. And people compete with car in their daily life today. Uh, in 2020, we are still trying to fix that problem. And moving to 1990, when Google started, say 1995, Yahoo 1994, in the beginning of the so-called internet era, one question was asked, what are the impact of information and communication technology, the internet? to city, community, and places. As a designer, I ask the question, how do we design a city from the internet up? And that was 1990. Uh, moving from a rising internet like 30 years ago to internet of thing, IOT era, in 2020, we may ask a slightly dif different question. How would emerging technology like AI, data science, IOT, urban automation, change the way we design city that enable us to design a better urban world to be more sustainable, resilient, carbon neutral when facing climate change. 
And we are moving to the next decade when new technologies such as generative AI, urban computing, future mobility, like EVAV, UAM, urban air mobility, uh, would potentially impact the way we live, work, play, and move. So in the recent, uh, so that, how do we then de redesign our city to accommodate this radical transformation through technology? In a recent book, Inventing Future City, by Michael Betty, he speculated that in the not very far distant future, city will become a constellation of millions and millions of computers. Cities are becoming computable, automatic at every level of their operation from personal device, building infrastructure to environmental system. But I would like to be more positive and constructive how will urban data science and urban technology enable us to address prompting problems that occur in near real time in cities, such as congestion, heat wave attack, flooding, energy shortage, blackout, as the risks are increasing due to climate change? And city has been seen as a consumption entity that consumes so much energy, water, food, resources, how do we redesign our city to be a productive landscape and like an ecosystem to produce food, energy, water, community, like Candida building? And uh, we do not have all this answer out of the two smart city projects, Tokyo in 10 years, Atlanta Airport in five years. But in Georgia Tech, we are certain that this place is one of the gravity on the planet to offer us some answers, if not all, some possible solution, because Georgia Tech own enormous capacity to incorporate engineering, computing policy, and management into city design to address urban problem for complex system or system, and I call it urban tech, or urban tech in Georgia Tech. So Eco Common, Club Common, Campanita Building represent a few of these important steps toward that direction. So across college and school from Georgia Tech campus, can we incorporate design and technology to develop, develop a transformative approach to change the current urban system to make future city more efficient in energy, more renewable in resource, more climate resilient, more socially inclusive to meet the goal, carbon neutrality by 2050. So the idea of urban tech at Georgia Tech would require collective effort like this forum from this community. It's a model for higher education to synergize teaching, research, and practice to address climate challenges as one of the most critical problems of our time. Thank you very much.